the uh, 12th of July, and uh, a couple days with no videos, having trouble with my uh, my broadcasting software, it just was hung up as a process. So I apologize, some really interesting things are happening, and uh, let's get started. Yellen spoke today, and today was kind of all of the above. Everything went up, happened four times in the last... 24 years of given these biannual or semi-annual testimonies so four times out of approximately 48 and every time this has happened uh, the market was softer two weeks four weeks eight weeks and six months out and so we're not talking crash we're talking anywhere from between one to two percent down to ten percent but weakness and it ties in pretty nicely here with the um, us going into the, you know, right now, July 15th to September 15th is probably the the uh, most negative 60 days. If you take it to the end of September, 75 days of the market. And and uh, also the strength for gold and silver and the miners. So, so it's a good time for this. I think it was a passing of the baton. And uh, they let everything go up. And now we're going to see who gets head fake because it was... Uh, they, they couldn't roll the dollar over pretty hard, which was which I thought she was pretty dovish, and then she ended up being kind of uh, a little bit bearish, you know, not bearish, but dollar strong, which brought the commodities right back down again. So, so I don't know what people are taking out of this. Hey, they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and put QE four in, and and that should lift all boats, or hey, the economy's in trouble, and and the reflation trade is dead. So we're just gonna have to kind of wait and see what happens. But let me blast through some charts here. I'll talk about what we did and what we didn't do. So I've been staying away from SPY. As you can see, all they did was they dipped down and then they dipped back up. We're back still in that range. And um, like I said, I'm expecting weakness now. Uh, so I uh, may go back to start throwing some uh, SPY call credit spreads on again. We'll see. Okay, the VIX, they pounded the VIX again. Just amazing and uh, now I think the VIX is like getting close to eight or something like that some crazy number we'll, we'll take a look at it in a second Okay, financials this was a head scratcher to me why the financials would be up at all you know if uh, you know the 10-year yield went down today the economic news is awful so I think it was just a question of all the passive ETFs are being bought banks are part of it they all got lifted but I wouldn't want to own banks here. That's for damn sure. GDX, we had a nice pop to open the day. And then they tried to sell it down during the rest of the day. And um, and so we're still holding our dust puts. I tried to get out on uh, with a double, but it wouldn't, wouldn't hold. But I'm not too worried. I think the move now is secular, and I think we're going to get up. I think we're going to get a big play here with the, uh, with the miners. Okay, the Q's, okay, they lifted it back up. Looks like just like another crazy Ivan. That's all this market does is crazy Ivan. See, down and then up. You, you, you can't generate any more value. And anytime anything gets sold off, you got algos kicking it right back. So now I'm looking for it to reverse right back again. But, you know, until he breaks these rectangles... If Yellen says she's going to start reducing the balance sheets in September, I, I hold my breath. Uh, you know, where's the money coming from? And Japan didn't play today. So it's just simply, uh, you know, uh, sh huge short covering rallies to just to chase people out that were, were hoping for the worst. We went short the NQs. End of the day, it's at the top of a volatility channel. So we're looking for it to roll down. See how far it goes. Here's UVXY down the nine. Just amazing. NVIDIA, here you go. The, their biggest market is in the automobiles and manufacturing and, and you know all that stuff is weakening. But um but don't let a don't let a good short covering get in the way of facts. Apple struggled most of the day, and then they lifted it uh, into the uh, 
into the middle of the day here after Europe closed and then started drifting back down again. IWM is struggling. We went ahead and bought some TWN today. Tight stop just in case they decide to lift this, but you know, at some point we're going to get a good move again in down in IWM and we'll ride it with TWM. Okay, technology. It's just staying away from the. Oh, I don't think oil knows what it wants to do. It's kind of right in the middle of the big range now. So now it can slide either way. And I, but I think it blew its, uh, I think it blew its top today, and I think we have a, a, I think we can look forward to now some, some weakness. You know, they, there's people are producing like crazy, even though the draw was down. That really doesn't mean anything if we're not the only country in the world, you know, that needs the oil. So, uh, that that was West Texas, but it, it gets uh, priced off the Brent, and you know, as that rolls down, West Texas will roll down with it. A nugget, like I said, here was nugget. Um, it hit the target first of the day. Look, I was going to break through, but just maybe just round one. And uh, you know, as long as it holds above 2750, let it rewind a little bit. If it breaks that VWAP band, that dark blue band you see in the middle, starts moving up, jump back in. Here's oil. I think the move might be done for a bit. XIV just move with the with the market, but you know it's hard to trade it when it already gaps up two and a half points to start the day, or well, one and a half. Okay, GDXJ again first hit on the VWAP. I think it's going to rebound. And it's going to go right through it. Sandwich silver and um, I want to buy SRS puts, but. It, it'll gap down on me and then just by the time I can get to it, it was already falling pretty hard. But I think this is going to be a an, an opportunity here for, as rates roll down. I think this is real estate's one last shot before this thing rolls over too, regardless of rates. The SQQQs, we bought Q put, so I'm staying away from this. But I will throw this out to people who just like to trade the um, equities. But I'm not quite ready for it yet, almost. It's right in my band. Okay, here's dust. Okay, UNG. Just flip flopping around a little bit and reports tomorrow. Okay, I don't think the uh, biotechs are looking that hot here. Might be an opportunity here to short them pretty soon. MOS. You know, every one of these moves keeps getting topped. It's definitely a dollar play. We've got to see what the dollar does, but if the dollar weakens, you can see. Ag chems are going to be the way to go. We're in our IAU. Our stop is um, one. I think it's still one sixty. I don't think I changed it. I have to look. Either that or it's one sixty-seven. Oh, uh, that's the price we bought it at. So, like I said, tight stop on this trade. And um, I'm looking to see if we can get a five ten percent move on it. AG, we took our 10% profit on it just in time. It rolled right back over. So right up to Europe close, they pushed it down. So we'll see what happens overnight. But definitely going to be getting back into this one soon. Talk to oil. Small caps. XME, um, we pushed it up. We moved our stop up and we got stopped out. And um, that's what I'm telling me. Something that's a little weird going on with the market. You think... If the dollar is going to roll over and we got the inflation trade or reflation trade coming back, you know, this didn't really hold. So um, maybe it's just, uh, just a little nervous about what she'll say tomorrow. But uh, I'll jump back into this one again. Um, wait for the money flow to turn back up. But like I said, we grabbed some profit on this time. Last time we got chopped out, lickety split. Okay, here's Amazon. Had a big prime day. Yay. SLLC, SLCA, I should say, popped up hard and sold off. Yesterday I wanted to get in it, and then when it popped up, I said I don't want to chase it. And good thing, because it came right back down again. This is typically what we're seeing so much. Nothing can hold a trend. It's just amazing. Here's WPM, just uh, just crazy. You know, started up almost 1980, back down, finished flat, 
to look at the overnight here. It's down a little bit, but but if interest rates fall and silver goes up, WPM is going to go up. So it's a good opportunity for us. Um, once that breaks over VWAP again, it's going to the top of that band. I'm looking at 21. SSH, CSCO. Okay, the financials. A little head and shoulder pattern here. If you want to trace it out, if it hits this again, you know, not big moves, it's like two, three points. So it's not, it doesn't really excite me too much. But they're doing everything they can to protect these damn banks. You know, we should become bankers in our next life. At least bank owners. Here's TWM. So we got it at 2076. At 2075, 2051's our stop. So we'll see what happens. There's DBA pretty flat today. A lot of a lot of moving under the under the current though. Okay, as the dollar was flat. AZ. Here's the drips all over the place. It's like slowly dripping down. Maybe get back in this again. I'm not sure. See what oil does. Oil just might be just flopping around here too. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Here's wheat. Okay, so USDA report came out. And they kind of ambushed it. But they, they got the numbers wrong. You know, always by design. Just like they do with gold, you know. The people who own the USDA are not the farmers. It's the people who buy the farm products and they're always looking to buy cheap at everyone else's expense. So if this thing gets down below eight dollars and it kicks back up, just buy it. The wheat, um, the, the 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 recovery rate um, is is half of what they thought it is. So basically, they're thinking they're thinking three and a half percent of the fields are um, basically. Uh, not worth harvesting it's closer to seven and a half percent and so but they just use the headline numbers and and then they also underreported demand from livestock farmers so you know it's just the, the, the amazing games but now this thing's going higher so this will be a buy the dip so like i said if you get it anywhere down in 790 to 795 uh, go ahead and and and, and buy it and it's not going to here again that is for sure so um this would be a good opportunity and i think it's going to continue to move higher okay not gas same with corn so if corn goes anywhere between 19 and 19 1920 uh go ahead and buy it and look for the next lift higher ura i'm just gonna buy it just in like the action again it, nothing's really holding Everything looks like it wants to break out, and everything looks like it wants to break down at the same time. It's just, it's just amazing to me. Okay, here's um, here's sugar, just pretty flattish. Okay, here's FXY. This is a little bit of a bull flag to me, you know. Popped up, flagging, boom. This will put pressure on um, uh, on the markets and. And give gold and and oil probably a lift so just keep an eye on that and like i said last time they did this move went down close to 81 went up to 90 now we're at 84. you know if we keep pushing we push up really high into the 90s then um that's going to cause a lot of stress on the market because this is how they've been funding a lot of their purchases and they may have to sell there's jjg like i told you they're gunning for this gap so just you know uh, I'm only in half, so I'm just waiting patiently. Get into 2920 area, get back in full position, keep going. My average is down to 2625, so um, uh, I just learned that every time I get exuberant here with the grains, they figure a way to to beat it back. Coffee's pretty flat over VWAP. Soybeans hit soybeans that came back up. I'm telling you, droughts killing soybeans, and um, Chinese are buying everything that's being made. Okay, they got to feed their people, and uh, they're hiding something. And their 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 um, fields aren't doing so hot. You know, nothing devastating, but nothing great. And not like we had for the big El Nino year. So that that day's off the table. Okay, this is a move I was talking about SRS, and then it kind of held, keep falling. It's just not enough movement there. You know, they they just beat the everything down here, so you can't really even enjoy these big ultras anymore like you used to. BIS, we've got to wait for bio. 
SSG. It's getting close to where I'm going to buy it again. Um, where's my arrow hiding? Here it is. So, um, if it gets down to um, anywhere 1495 to 1510, I'm jumping back into uh, SSG to ride a tech move down. Sale so J. This one popped over and held on the VWAP. So, keep an eye on this to put out as a trade signal. I won't personally trade it, I'll just call it out. Okay, here's TNX was down today, one and a half, one and a half percent. I'm telling you, nobody can sustain these higher interest rates. There's just some sort of fantasy island that 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 people are going to be able to absorb this stuff. They're just the banks are just going to get blown back with with non-performing loans. Here's the VIX. Or is it? The, yeah, it's the VIX down to ten again. Just amazing. And here's the VVIX. It was flattish today. No anticipation of volatility to come. Back to SPY. So um, we had a really good day today. And uh, some of the trades we took off, profitable on both of them. The ones that we're in are profitable. The only prop trade that we're in that right now is not profitable. We have Q puts for September, but we're selling calls against, I mean puts against it. So I'm not too worried about that one at all. And if they hold this thing up through that period, then something else is happening in the market that that uh, will fly against uh, everything I know. And then that's just the way it's going to be. But I'll still call puts against it every week. So, you know, at the very least, we'll, we'll break even. But it'll be hard for us to lose money on that trade. And the day trading money machine did really well today. Uh, it caught all the moves and big moves again in oil. And it kept you on the long side of NASDAQ trade all day. And I encourage you to check it out, tradeusacademy.com. You know, we had a sale that ended, but I did uh, an interview uh, with um, with somebody, and I, I we put the counter back up. So you have a couple days if you want to grab it. Uh, we've been adding some enhancements to it, so uh, um, reflect the additional capabilities we've been pushing, putting our price up. But uh, you can still get it at a great price, half off. <clears throat> Go check it out. I think you have till the end of the 14th. I have to check with my partner. He handled that end of the business, but I thought I would just tell you guys, since you spent all this time listening to this video, that you can jump in and get anything off at half price on the store till then. So I encourage you to do it. Some people use it to trade XIV intraday. A lot of people use it to trade oil, natural gas. It works for gold. And um, and right now, you know, I'm in uh, a short oil trade and I'm in a short um, NQ trade for the end of the day, uh, hitting some bands. And some arrows so um I encourage you to check it out and if you want to learn how to trade the ultras because there are going to be some great shorting opportunities we have training classes on how to do just that tradegeniusacademy.com thanks for listening i'll circle back with you guys tomorrow and think golden thoughts and short the market if it gives it to you thank you Bye bye